Hi. Now suppose we have a particle P moving along a straight line. In this video what I want to do is show you how we can find the position vector of P after any time t. Now suppose the point P starts at A relative to a fixed origin O at time t equals zero. We can denote O to A by the vector OA. So as P starts to move, the position vector of P given by the vector O to P is O to A plus A to P. Let's just write this down over here. So what we're saying then is going from O to P is exactly the same as the vector O to A followed by, so plus that, the vector A to P. Now suppose the particle P has a velocity given by V. In other words, P will travel from A the length of this vector here in one unit of time. And so AP equals 1V when T equals 1, or just simply V. And after two units of time, P is here. And you can see that A to P equals 2V. And when T equals 3, AP will be equal to 3V. And when T equals 4, AP is going to equal 4V and so on. So what I'm trying to say is that therefore O to P is going to equal O to A followed by any amount of V. So in other words T V. Every time we take a unit of T we're going to go along T times that amount of V. Now if I let the point P have position vector r, in other words the vector op is r, and also let's say that at time t equals zero we know the particles at a, we'll call oa the position vector r zero. So that means in general that this statement here tends to be written r being the position vector of p at any time t equals our initial position vector r0 okay plus t times our velocity vector v so i would suggest then that you do try and remember this formula as it gives the position vector then of the point p at time t now what I'd like to show you is a quick, simple example just to demonstrate how we use this particular equation. So, suppose we've got then a boat that travels with a velocity of 4i plus 6j meters per second. And at time t equals zero, the boat is at minus 5 plus 2j meters from a fixed point O. What we've got to do is find the position of the boat after time t seconds. So if we let the position vector of the boat say be r after time t seconds, then it's going to equal the initial position of the boat, which was minus 5i plus 2j. So just write that in as minus 5i plus 2j. And then it's going to be plus t times the velocity vector and the velocity vector is 4i plus 6j meters per second so 4i plus 6j and that's essentially it but what I would encourage you to do is generally group up the i components and the j components so if I took the i components starting with this positive value here we've got say 4t and then minus 5 in the i direction followed by and if we start with the positive 
term here for j, 6t, we've got 6t and then plus 2 in the j direction. OK? And you can see it checks out when t equals 0, you get the initial position, minus 5i plus 2j. And after that, other times, say when t equals 1, the position of the boat will be for minus 5, that's negative 1i, and then here it will be 6 plus 2, in other words, at 8j. And so you can keep substituting different values of t into here to get the positions of the boat at various times. So this is basically the idea using this formula. But there's going to be other examples where you're just given, say, the speed and direction of, say, the boat, and given a particular time which, which it's at a particular position. These are just extending this idea. So hopefully, though, this is, forms the basis of this concept.